Canada Regional Hardmaster's Office. Today I want to talk to you very briefly about a temporary area we've put in the passive part of Lake Rotanifa, known as the Bay. This is to allow South Island Rowing and Rowing New Zealand to use this area for practice starts and other practice type situations. The passive area is for the community and there's an expectation that there's no powered boats whatsoever going there, none. What we would ask is the coaches, the drivers and any support staff, you stay outside of the passive area at all times. If you go in there, you risk losing this temporary area. We don't want that. You've got 31 regatta days a year that you can use the whole lake. So we're asking you to comply with this um, request because we want to work with you guys, but we don't want you to lose the area that your, your um, South Island Rhone have asked for. Thank you. We are privileged we have access to the entire lake on training days with two exceptions, the bay and the no-go zone upstream of the mouth of the Oho River. The bay. Non-motorised craft like rowing boats may enter the bay. However, any motorised craft such as a coach boat is prohibited from this area. It is a passive area for the community and can only be used by motorised craft on regatta days or in an emergency. Warning. If a coach boat is found in breach of the bay rule, ECAN will remove all rights for us to have access to this area on regatta days. Oho A. There is prohibited access beyond the marker buoy positioned by the mouth to the Oho River. Training on the Rui Tanifa, the course. On lanes 0 to 4, traffic flows towards the start line. Lane 5 is a no-row zone and can only be used by coach and safety boats, while on lanes 6 to 10, traffic flows towards the finish line. Training off the course. Traffic flows with an anti-clockwise direction with all crews keeping their bow side to the back. Safety equipment. The following are compulsory items for all safety or coach boats. PFDs, enough for each member for the largest crew you are supervising. A bailer, a warning device like a megaphone or horn a communication device to the shore like a cell phone or radio, a knife, a throw line, emergency blankets, a first aid kit, a fire extinguisher, a kill switch and a paddle. 